Hello, Instagram, RHT Carpentry here on a late night shift, trying to get a table ready for someone's Christmas dinner. Um, and I'm at the stage which nobody normally sees, which is the sanding stage. So last week I posted a video of the finishing stage with the Danish oil. And tonight I'm gonna show you my process of sanding up a slab, as you can see. I'm now using, um, I've gone through the stages of a belt sander, 60, 120 grip. I've then gone a grinder around the edge to um, remove the side edge. I will show you. So I use my grinder with a mean, mean tooth grinding attachment which basically saves a lot of time of um, uh, chipping off the live edge, which is what this does. So basically just go down the live edge with this tool, cleans it all up, lovely jubbly. And once you've done that process, you then use a rectal band of Festool. You can use Festool, you can use any make you like as long as it achieves the finish you want. For us, the Roto X 150, superb, does exactly what it says on the tin, costs a fortune on sanding pads, so Festool, if you're watching this, you need to bring the prices down a bit. It's a consumable product. So, basically I've got a 120 on there a moment, aftermarket, not a Festool sanding pad. Um, I've just 120 to all the top. I'm just going to go over it again with a fresh new pad and then I'm going to go to um, a 180 and then basically what you're trying to do is get rid of all the little swirl marks. A bit like a car. If you imagine polishing a car, you're swirling it around. This is what we're taking out so you get the smooth finish. So bear with me, Instagrammers, YouTubers, anyone who's watching this and you can watch this process, watch my technique, you do it your own way. I've been trained 19 years, so I do it differently to everybody else, but you can make a decision after this video. So here I go. So YouTubers, Instagrammers, Facebookers, you notice I'm not using any dust masks. Well, that's when the Festool CT26 does all that for you. It attaches to your sander and breathes in all that dust, harmful stuff that I used to, 10 years ago, used to breathe in. Now, I don't. Uh, because the Festool is designed to keep your workspace clean, but also keep you with good lungs. So, yes, you pay a lot of money for this kit, but at the end of the day, your end products are a lot better. So, it's not my skill, it's the tool I'm using. That's what looks good. It's not me. Um, that tool makes my work look really good. If I didn't have that tool, I wouldn't be as good as what I am. So it's all about investing properly in your equipment and tools. Now my motto is spend well, it will last you a long time and you'll reap the benefits. You buy cheap, you buy twice. 
you buy expensive, lasts you a long time. Now I'm just going to demonstrate, I'm going to go to a different grip now. Beautiful thing about the Festool fabric backs, literally, what's well, just quicker than taking your pants off. And then line up your holes, ready to go. So if you're still watching, fair play to you, don't know how you do it. My son watches um, other people on YouTube play games. I don't know how he does that, but he does. He enjoys it, so I'm assuming if you're watching this, you must like woodwork. So, here I go. 180 grit now. So with sanding, a quick little tip for you guys out there and girls out there that do it. If you're joining three pieces of timber together, it's always good to do one plank at a time in your head when you're sanding. Instead of going like a bull in a china shop, doing all three, and then you kind of lose what direction you're going in. If you do one plank at a time, work your way up and down, new pad, up and down, new pad, up and down, then you're likely to work better more efficient and then obviously producing a better finish because you're going over it all. So I'm going to go now back down the middle and then work my way to the third plank.
you'll also find is going up from a 120 to 180 is you might need to go back over it with a 120 just to get those swell marks out. Um, so I'm just going to do that for the middle bit because I didn't really put so much pressure on the middle. So I'm going to take this one off and put another 120 on just for the middle. Really want to get those swell marks out. When you put your finishing oil on, they stand out like a sore thumb. So it's really good to do the effort in the sanding, uh, then create a better finish overall. So there you go YouTubers, Facebookers, Instagrammers, that's how I finish my tops. Like and comment, share the page and keep tuned for more videos. If I haven't bored you, then I'm doing something good. So look out for RHT Carpentry, at RHT Carpentry or hashtag RHT Carpentry. Noggit, see ya!